uh, it'll be at a bit of a distance or, or something like that. Um, yeah, whatever you do, don't run. That, that is a very important thing, but just to come back again, uh, I have run a few occasions very successfully from things. Uh, once was a black rhino, which is by far the most exciting run I've had in my life, even including competitions when I was younger. Um, so sometimes running works, but it's important, first of all, that again, in, in most cases, or all cases, Herman and yourself will be in a very safe position. And in that way, I can then just react to what needs to happen there by myself. I don't have to consider someone else because I know that you're in a safe place. Um, and during that whole thing is the, the calmness of it. And this is actually where I came in with, with the whole experience of suddenly having a, a huge amount of adrenaline. You know, uh, I, I spoke to Herman about it the other day as well. It's important to keep used to adrenaline. Adrenaline is not something weird or funny. It is something that we have in our bodies since we were young. And, and it, it's there for a very big reason. It's so that we can certain times when the need is there, operate faster, better, and smoother. And uh, you have to stay used to it. So every now and again, I hide behind the corners in the camp here at night. And when Herman's walking around, I jump out and I give him a big fright. And, 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 I, and, I, and I do that for myself. And it's important to just stay used to it. So that when you suddenly get a big shot of adrenaline, your mind can stay 100% calm. During the whole exercise, not once did I think faster than what I could realize what was going on around me. It's just to stay calm with it. And then, and then adrenaline is amazing. You know, it's, it's part of what, what, what makes us operate better and faster and, and think clearer, as long as you don't freeze up with it. Um, Let's see another work. <laughs> yeah, someone that was in a walking Kruger once, and everyone ran in all directions um, from Carmen. But uh, standing still, I mean, keep in mind that same herd, and, and, and uh, sorry, I keep saying this, and I'll stop just now, but I don't want to talk too much. But this, that same herd I've been with before, where I, where I sat down with them. Um, Graham, that photograph of Josh with the Ellies is with this exact same herd. Oh, really? Yeah, same females. I mean, I can show you the individuals in it. Um, and, and I was sitting down at one stage with them, standing in a half moon around me, just looking at me, with their ears open, relaxed, about 30 meters spread out. So, again, this herd I've known from before. I didn't expect them to, to just suddenly turn into weird, strange animals. They live in a safe environment. They don't get hunted or poached or, or, or aggressively pursued by human beings. So that's also something good to remember. Um, <laughs> guys, some comments coming through. Yeah, maybe we'll do that one time. I'll try and have a camera with me when I just try and give people a fright around camp. It's always good. <laughs> Keep people on their toes. Um, guys, to be very honest with you, my coffee's finished. And I had an awesome time this morning. I really did. This was, uh, you know, I, uh, how do you explain that? <laughs> it was fantastic. I want to say thank you to Wild Earth and Emily and Graham for being able to, to put me in that space and, and being able to share that. And, uh, and it was beautiful. And we're going to do a lot more walks. And, and like I said, many times we might not see elephants for a long time. We might not see animals sometimes. But being on foot and being in nature is, is in our nature ultimately. That's how we came to where we are today. And, uh, and, and being out there again, is, it really is a privilege and a pleasure for me to, to have you there with us as well. And that goes for everyone, yeah. So I'm just going to say thank you, and I'm going to check the monkey, which has just run up the tree outside, make sure the kitchen door is closed, and grab another cup of coffee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye. See you guys for the drive this afternoon. Thanks, Peter. Thank you very much, and thanks for a wonderful drive. And cheers, Herman, as well. I mean, a wonderful walk. Uh, yes, as we discussed earlier, if anyone has any recordings of that, of the walk, it would be nice to see them. I think I closed my eyes throughout most of the actual scary bit, so it would be good to see it um, again. Uh, as you can see, the water hole is pretty empty. And who's just sent in a message? Um, Nora, it's 2.30 a.m. in Washington State, USA, and I'm glad I stayed up to watch this. Thank you very much, Nora, and thank you, everybody else, for the chat. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I think Graham's disappeared off somewhere. I'm going to say goodbye and probably won't see you again for a few months. It's my last time in the bush, so thanks for joining us. And uh, here's Graham. <laughs> Well, um, I'm going to say goodbye as well, and uh, thank you very much for <laughs> for watching it and for talking to us and chatting with us, and um, and we'll we'll see you guys soon. Um, uh, we're going to go and sort of lie down and uh, in the fetal position in the darkened room for a while. <laughs> but for those of you that are going to bed, sleep well. For those of you that are waking up, welcome to the day, um, and I look forward to having a look at the. Um, I look forward to having a look at all the various different um, uh, videos of the of the uh, of, of 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 the elephant chart. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.